Hello Stampers! This is Jennifer Sinceri with Stamping Up and today I'm going to show you a very easy technique with stamping called masking and we're going to be using this stamp set called Inspiring Iris. Uh, it is currently in our annual catalog on page 111 and so you can see um, the whole stamp set here. There are irises and then carnations and then maybe a pansy flower. Um, and then there's some great um, examples using this stamp set. This stamp set is going to carry over into our new catalog. Okay, it goes live June 3rd. All right, so I can only show you the cover. My customers should be getting their catalogs, I would hope, this week. Um, hoping they can quickly. This is our new beginner brochure, and all of my current customers will be getting one of these also. These are amazing. They're great for beginners and also avid crafters. All right, there's some stamp sets that are exclusive only in that catalog. All right, let's get started. Um, today is May 19th, 2020. This is my current host code, just in case. Um, let's go over some of our sentiments here that we have in this set. It says, you are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. Sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. Wishing you the best. Thanks. All right, so um, this was a sample that I made. I'm gonna actually switch it up a little bit, but we're gonna use the same um, technique of masking. You can see that in the center, it looks like I have blocked off a section. This is a two-step stamp set, um, and I'm gonna show you that as well. All right, so I made a So Saffron card base. We're gonna be using So Saffron. And we're going to also be using Melon Mambo and Old Olive. Those are our ink colors. We're also going to be using Memento Black, um, which is not on my sample. That's the two-step part that we're gonna to add to this card. So I made a So Saffron card base. And then I cut a um, mat of Melon Mambo. And so the card base is um, four and a half by five and a half when you cut it. You score it at four and a half. Um, and so then this was cut at four and five and a quarter, okay? And then this was just a piece of scratch paper. It's actually probably a little bit smaller than I wanted for my, my stamping, but that's fine. I'm just gonna use it up. I'm all about using scrap paper right now. Okay, to do your masking, um, you're gonna want you're gonna want your stamped images on certain parts where you're, and then you're gonna cover up the rest of it. So I'm going to work on. I'm using my grid paper here. I'm going to use a little post-it note. And I want to make sure that my line here is straight. I don't know that that looks straight, but let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let me do it. And we're about right there. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to be stamping my images. And let's see. I need to use... I need to add one more image here that I didn't pull out. I need this guy. Because I am using the carnations and then that little posy um, stamp. Let me grab two more blocks. Okay. All right. Put those on. Put that on. Right there. Now I'm going to stamp my little posies. Here we go, and I am not gonna get the whole image on, and that's fine, okay? And we'll do another one here. 
I'm just building a scene, really. And then I'm going to do my carnations. Oops, I won't want to use it in yellow. I want to use my Mullen Mambo. All right. I love carnations. I know some people don't like carnations. They think they're kind of generic or cheap. Um, my grandmother used to always have carnations in her yard. And she used to dye them for different holidays. St. Patrick's Day, she would dye them um, green. <laughs> She'd get white ones and dye them green by putting them in food coloring. I just, it reminds me of my grandmother, so I actually love them. All right, and then I've got my little leaf here. This goes on my, it's actually my stem, it goes on my carnation. And let's do another one. Okay. And then, let's see. I think I need some of those leaves. Yeah. Let's do some of those green leaves. Mm. Get a little more foliage in there. Okay, let's see. How about up here? And here and I don't want to cover up too much maybe a little bit right there okay and then if we need these little, little tiny flowers we can put those on there too let's see I am I guess I could fit one there this might be too much maybe one there we can do the centers. I think that this is just a fun stamp set. Very easy to work with. Very happy and cheerful. All right, now I'm going to add in the two-step part, which I didn't do on my sample. So, let's see. I wanna do the, where'd it go? There it is. The carnation. All right. Now let me make sure I'm getting it right on top of it. Ooh, that's pretty. And then there's that one. And then I'm going to do the little pansy guy or whatever this flower is. Let's see. Mm, I think there. Okay. Now, I'm going to create the other half because I want enough for my sentiment. Maybe I should stamp my sentiment and then I don't run out of room. So let's stamp our sentiment. This one I'm gonna do, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. Okay. Then I'm gonna cover that because I don't want to stamp in that space. Okay. All right, now let's do the bottom half. I'm going to turn it this way because I want the flowers to go, I want it to be easy when I am stamping. So I'm going to start again with that big pansy type flower. Do one there. And we'll do another one there. And then I'm going to do my carnations. I have room for another one we'll do it kind of off and then I need my stem and leaves for the carnation one and two and we can do some more green leaves let's add some foliage in there There. Mm -hmm. 
How's that? And then let's get some of those little guys in. I don't know what these are called. They're just cute. Maybe you do. I'll get my center in. Very sweet. And do we need a couple more leaves? Hmm. Let's maybe put a little bit right there. And maybe a little there. All right, now I need to go in with my black. I'm going to close up the colors because with my luck, my cat will jump on the table and get their inky paws in the ink pad. It's always been kind of my nightmare. All right, let's get our, our carnation. Okay, I didn't quite get it on top. There we go. And then our pansy, ooh, that leaf got right in there. Well, I'm winging it, guys. That's okay. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty easy. All right, now, this is a very simple card. I'm not doing any embossing. I'm not doing any die cutting. The focus was my stamping. So I am going to adhere that. And let's see, I'm going to grab my adhesive. I'll do some liquid glue today, I think. All right, liquid glue is nice because, oh, did I grab an empty one? Oh, boo-boo heads, let me grab another one. Grab a new one. How's that? Brand spanking new. All right. Liquid glue is great because it gives you a little bit more time if you need to move something before it dries. Whereas the snail, uh, once you put it down, you have to be very careful about pulling it back up because it'll tear your paper. I use both. It's just whatever your preference is. And notice I just did it around the perimeter. Okay. All right. I want to make sure you don't have inky fingers or gluey fingers. That really came out pretty. Now, I did a bow on mine, and we can do a bow or not. It's totally up to your preference. I'm using some retired ribbon. Um, this was a celebration freebie when you spent $50 a while ago. All right, and before I put that down, I'm going to put my ribbon on. Okay, so... my bow. Let's see if my hands will work while I'm on camera. <laughs> All right. Might not. Usually I have a helper that holds my bows for me. <laughs> All right. Let's tweak that. Okay, and then get my little snips here. And I need to play with my bow a little bit because that's kind of funky looking. You 
You can also use glue dots to hold down parts of your bow if you needed to. Mm. That's not working. I can hear the garbage truck outside. <laughs> All right. I don't know that I like that. We're going to have to play with it. All right, and then I'm going to pull some dimensionals here. I'm going to put them on the four corners. I like my cards to have some dimension. And pull those off. Okay. And the last one. Make sure we don't put it on upside down. All right, I still don't like that bow. Maybe it needs to go a little bit. Just wants to fly away. All right. I think I'm going to trim it a little bit more. All right, I'll trim this one. Okay. For some reason, that just is sticking out. I'm going to have to put that down with some glue dots, I think. All right. Now, I thought I would decorate the inside of my card and maybe even my envelope today. Okay, isn't that pretty? I really like that. This was mine that I did without the two steps, just so you can see the difference. This one's pretty. This one, I think, adds more detail doing that two step, adding in the black. So let's do the inside of the card now, okay? So I've got my, my white paper. And I think because I have sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love, I don't know that I want to put something, a sentiment on the inside. You could. But I think this is going to be a card that I'm going to write a note. And I'm just going to do a little decorating in the corner. So let me pull... I think I'm going to do a carnation and I'm going to do my melon mambo there. So I'm going to grab the little oh, flower head and then I'm going to do my stem. Okay, and then let's move those out of the way. We'll put a little black to continue with what we did on the front of our card. And there's a cat hair. Those kitties. Okay. And then we can put that on the inside of our card. Get my glue. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just do the same with my envelope. I love to decorate my envelopes also. Like I said, this paper was scratch paper, so it's a little bit smaller than I normally would do, but it works. It's fine. All right. So there's the inside. There's the outside. Let's put a little something on an envelope. Okay, I didn't use any DSP in this card. Sometimes I'll line this with DSP, but I think I'm just gonna put a little stamp, just like I did on the inside. Here's my carnation. And then the part that we're gonna put in the black. And okay, and it's okay that it's not completely. I, I think it looks fine. 
You might put one right here if you wanted to. Or we could stamp. Let's see. I think what I'll do is cover this part because I don't want to get it on the part where I will be addressing. Let's make sure we cover that up. Okay. And we can do some stamping on the envelope flap there. All right. So let's do some carnations. And I'll do my stem. Okay. And do we want to do a couple of, of the pansies? I don't know that those are pansies, but that's what I'm calling them. Let's see. There. One there, and we need to put the black part on, so we could do that. I need to use a little, another post-it here, because I don't want that leaf that's on here to, I got a little part of it. I'll have to cover that up with a green leaf. And then let's do the black carnation outline. And this one. Trying to see it. And then this one. I think these colors are so cheerful. And then let's do some green leaves. I want to cover up that little black. It's going to be a really fancy envelope. All right. Take those off. There's your envelope. Pretty. Okay. So there you have it. You just learned a little bit of masking and a little bit of two-step stamping. Okay, there's my card. There's my envelope. This was the Inspiring Iris Stamp Set. And like I said, it's going to carry over into the new catalog, so I'm super excited because I haven't played with this one a lot. And I think it's just so sweet. Um... So there you have it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm on Facebook, uh, Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri. Um, I am going to be having a brand new catalog launch party online. Since we can't really do face-to-face -face right now. Let me move this. And so to celebrate the brand new catalog, I'm going to do an online virtual party on June 6th. It's a Saturday, and that's going to be from 10 in the morning till 10 at night. I'll just be hopping on Facebook and posting lots of different videos and samples, and I'm going to do a catalog walkthrough with you and show you new things. Um... And lots of samples, and we'll even play some games and have prizes, okay? Um, please give me a thumbs up or a, a like on my YouTube channel. That helps my business grow, please. Give me a comment. Um, if you see me on Facebook, if you see this video on Facebook, please go ahead and give me a comment and a like because that helps more people to see and uh, spreads the word around. Uh, that I'm I'm here and it helps my business to grow. I'd really appreciate that. All right, and um, for everyone who makes a comment, I'm going to put your names in for a raffle, and I will mail you this card that you can use to send to a friend. I'm going to raffle off my card that I just made. So leave me a comment, and I will put all the names in a little hat and have somebody. Pull a name out 
and you will be the lucky winner. All right, I'll do that this evening. It's about four o'clock. Um, I'll do it tomorrow around 6 p.m., okay? And that gives us some time for you guys to watch the video. All right, take care. Don't forget thumbs up and comments. I'd really appreciate that. If you need to order anything, please use this host code uh, for the end of May. We've got two weeks left. So happy stamping, everyone. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.